Good morning, folks. I wouldn't call the last 24 hours a calm day on our star, but at least there isn't much geo-effective to discuss. The limb and departing filaments were a bit jumpy, as you can see here. As beautiful as it was, it was only that. Beautiful, and it will not affect Earth. Over at spaceweathernews.com, it truly is telling when a tiny sea flare stands out as your top x-ray event of a 72-hour period. That is one quiet sunspot situation and is not going to change today with small spots spread and failing to interact magnetically. The solar wind is also calm, along with Earth's magnetic shield, but after facing Earth, a strong solar wind stream from this dark coronal hole will get to Earth soon. Expect a pretty good shock wave in the telemetry and possibly geomagnetic storms. Top article of the day is back at New Horizons. Pluto keeps offering gems, and we're beginning to detect nitrogen and solar wind interacting in near Pluto space and an ion tail even way out there. Amazing. In honor of Michael Steinbacher, we are still featuring his videos on our valuable info playlist, which is linked for you right below this video. If you haven't seen the playlist in full, it contains a buckshot of relevant quick hits that can get you very caught up in minutes. The interviews and the most recent climate data is at the bottom. So the tropical activity is continuing in the West Pacific, but it is out to sea. And while you can say the same of Dolores to the east, her shear is aimed right at the desert. This is my number one most certain regional climate change issue over the coming decades. This keeps happening, and if it does, it won't be a desert there very long. Meanwhile, the convergence in the central U.S. becomes a shield wall tonight and will extend west and northeast into New England. Don't sleep on that one tonight. We've got the other alert locations for Europe and Australia, plus the current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.